Johnny Manziel, one of the most legendary, electric, and memorable college football players we have ever seen. He burst onto the scene as a relative nobody in 2012 with the Texas A&M Aggies and instantly became the face of college football. He was an insane mix of dynamic playmaker and he had an unbelievable feel for the game that led him to receive the iconic nickname Johnny Football. Now in this video, we are going to break down gun bunch open offset and empty base flex and we'll be running out of the Ravens playbook. Now his game all started with his legs and he was an amazing runner of the football whether it was design QB run game or just getting out of the pocket and scrambling around to make plays. In 2012 Manziel was able to rush for 1410 yards and 21 touchdowns on the ground in 13 games. Now the first QB run we are looking at is RPO read bubble and bunch open offset and it will add an incredibly explosive element to your run game. Here we want to have the bunch to the wide side and then first we're going to look at our QB option and if at this snap the read player crashes then you can just keep it to the outside and you're also going to have your bubble on that side that will help hold defenders and you can pick up some really big runs on this play this is one of the most explosive run plays i have used all year and you are going to be able to pick up a ton of huge runs with your qb and make them pay if they leave your quarterback free then if the r player stays back then you can just hand it off up the middle and you can have this really quick hitting run play to rack up easy yards and if at the snap you notice they are loading the box to try to stop the run and we have a numbers advantage on the outside and you can just flip it out to your bubble right away after you snap the ball you can just hit this bubble all day now for this scheme at my qb spot i'm using michael vick and he is going to bring a ton of that dynamic playmaking on the ground that manzel brings to the table and he has the arm strength to push the ball down the field which is a big part of this offense and then for abilities i have set feet lead and gunslinger on this the next qb run is qb draw and empty base flex and this is going to allow us to mix in the run game in our empty offense this is a run we want to go to when they are saying super spread out to match our empty looks and when they are keeping their safeties back to play the pass then after the snap you can get in behind your blockers and let them get to the second level and pick up linebackers and then you can go down the field for some really nice pickups we really want to run this when they have five defenders in the blocks and then we will have our five o linemen and we will be able to get hat on a hat and pick up easy yards and this is going to force them to bring more people into the box to stop our run game now this manzel offense is all a part of my ultimate mobile qb offense where i take some of the best running qbs ever and recreate their offenses in Madden 23. Now there are going to be a total of five QBs in this scheme and if you want to check out everything that I've released so far I will leave a link down in the description that has the playlist for this whole scheme. Now all these QB run schemes are going to be based out of the Ravens playbook so they are all meant to be combined and used together. Then during his time at AM, their pass game was built around the air raid offense with their offensive coordinator being current Cardinals head coach Cliff Kingsbury. So their pass game had a ton of underneath quick hitters to really put a ton of pressure on the defense underneath but then their air raid offense had more of an emphasis on the downfield pass game and we we're really going to focus on a ton of those downfield shots in our scheme as well now in this scheme this won't be a pure air raid offense but we're just going to make plays that try to accomplish a lot of similar things but i do have some true air raid stuff on the way that is planned for the near future now johnny football's 2012 campaign is one of the greatest college seasons we have ever seen he beat the number one ranked team in the country alabama and he won the Heisman becoming the first freshman ever to take home this award. Now during Johnny's 2012 Heisman season, he passed for 3,706 yards and 26 touchdowns in 13 games. Now the first pass play we are looking at is Sprint Z spot in bunch open offset and this is a great way to attack zone coverage. Here we want to have the bunch to the wide side, then take the outside player on the bunch and put him on a street, then take the inside player on the bunch and put him on a whip route. Here we have a flood concept to the wide side and we just want to key in on the flat defender and if he stays shallow on the whip, then you can just throw the this corner route in over his head for a big pickup. Here the deep blue defender is going to get run off and this corner is going to get to a super tough area of the field to defend and you can pick up some really big plays with this route. Now if at the snap you see the flat defender is dropping out right at the snap to get under the corner route then you have this whip route underneath that you can fire in and let him pick up those rack yards in the flats. Then if at the snap you see the user runs to the wide side to try to help with the flood then we have this backside Z post that will attack the middle of the field and is a great option to pick up some easy yards. Next we have the play Y corner in M empty base flex and this is an amazing man beater for your offense and will put pressure all over the field. For this play have the trips to the wide side then put your outside receiver on the back side on a whip and motion him in. Then take your slot receiver put him on a whip also then take the outside player on the trip side and put him on a slant. Now the first place we want to look is at the receiver on the short side on the corner route and as he breaks out he's going to get really good separation and you can throw it in along the sideline and this is a great route because it'll break before the pressure can get to you and you're going to be able to keep it away from the user who's in the middle of the
of the field. Next, we can look to the other side of the field and we have a tight end on a corner route as well. And as he breaks out, short and elite will activate on this player and he's gonna get super easy separation and you can pick up some really big gains. Then we're gonna have two whips underneath and these are some of the best man beating routes in the game. You just wanna check either one and whichever one has more separation, you can just fire it in and let him make a play in the open field. Then we also have a slant and this is a great option. If the user vacates to try and take the corners, then we can just drop this in over the middle for a great fourth option. Next, we have fake screen wheel and bunch open offset. And this is a great option to attack zone all over the field. First, have the bunch to the wide side. Then we want to take the outside player on the bunch and put him on a street. And then we want to motion him across to the other side of the field. Then you can take the point man on the bunch and put him on an out route to the sideline. Then you can take the running back in the backfield and put him on a wheel route. Here, our first read is the running back out of the backfield. And you want to read the flat defender. Then if he bites down on the out route right away, then right as the running back cuts up field, you can throw in this wheel and this is a great quick hitter. Then if at the snap, the flat defender and the whole D on that side are playing deeper down the field, then you can wait to throw the running back as he gets deeper down the field. And this is a really nice pickup for zone coverage. Then for a second read, we have this deep crosser and this is a great option to attack the middle of the field. And if the user vacates and you can fire this in for a really nice pickup, then we can also work the backside on this play and you will see the streak will pull back that deep blue defender in this corner route is going to get to a really nice soft spot behind their zone cover. This is a super tough route to take away and their flats do not cover it well at all. And this will allow you to put pressure on both sides of the field. Now, if you want to unlock even more for this scheme, you need to check out my website, Scheme Kings. Up right now is part two of this video where I give you eight more plays out of these two formations. It includes some of the best man beaters I have used all year, another really good RPO play to give us easy yards and a ton of other great explosive pass plays to attack zone coverage all over the field. Then there's also all of my other mobile QB offense videos on the site, like my Vic and Lamar schemes and my Cam Newton and Tim Tebow videos. Then if you join Scheme Kings, you can also get the play call sheets for this mobile QB offense as well. So if you want to check out Scheme Kings, I will leave a link for it down in the description below. Now, though the Aggies under Manziel were an air raid offense, they had a ton more deep passing concepts to push the ball down the field and hit explosive plays. And the man Johnny would hit the most on these shot plays was Mike Evans. He was an absolute beast in this offense and his sophomore campaign was his best. He went for 69 receptions for 1,394 yards, 12 touchdowns, and an incredible 20 yards per reception. Now, our first play here is middle, high, low in empty base flex, and this is one of the best deep shots in all of Madden 23. Here have the trips to the wide side, then take the outside receiver on the short side, put him on a streak, and motion him in. Now, the first route we have here is the slot fade, and against cover three, once you snap the ball, you will see the deep third defender gets pulled in by the streak route, so you can pass lead this up and down the field and bomb them over the top for an absolute huge game versus cover three. Then against cover two, you will see this slot fade will get a free release down the field. And now the deep half will get held inside by the streak route. And once again, this fade will be wide open for an absolute bomb down the field this time against cover two. But if they play a cover four, or if you see the deep blue defender on that side runs over to that slot fade, then we have this deep post that will break in over the middle. And this is a really nice option if that slot fade is taken away. Then if at the snap, the user jumps the post, then you have this spot route from our tight end. And this can be a really good check down option on this play. Now for this offense, this is what our personnel is going to look like. And we want to at least get one big receiver to play that Mike Evans role. And here I have Randy Moss. And for the rest of our receivers, we want good speed and route running to get open. Then for our running back, go after a player with good speed and receiving ability. Then we have verticals in empty base flex. And this is another great way to push the ball down the field versus zone coverage. Here have the trips to the wide side, then put the backside receiver on a fade and motion him in. Now here, check the safeties. And if they have single high pre-snap, then you can just wait for this seam route to get in behind their hooks and the flat defender. And then you just want to drop this in right in front of the safety for a really easy game. And if you see two high pre-snap, but post-snap, they rotate to one high, then we can just wait for this safety on the trip side to drop down. And you can hit this up the seam again. And this can be an even more explosive pickup. Then if it's too high pre-snap and you get either cover two or cover four post-snap, then we can look to this tight end crosser. And this will get in behind their hooks and flat defender. And unless the user runs with it, you should be able to fire this in for a really big pickup along the sideline. Then if the seam is taken away and the user starts to run with that deep cross, then we have this drag route from the double side that will come across the field. And this will be our check down on this play. Johnny football is one of the legends of college football, but if you want an offense that combines these college spread looks with more NFL principles and has one of the greatest players of all time leading their offense, then you need to check out my Kansas City Chiefs West Coast spread offense 
events and start it all off by watching this video right here.